Gates and allegedly ordered the workers to leave the workplace or they would burn the offices. Addressing the media today, National Secretary of the Union, Fuseni Idrisu, noted that lives of DVLA staff are at risk as similar incidents have been reported at Oda in the eastern region. Hannah Odami was there for Joy News. On the 29th of January 2021, management of the Tamale DVLA office was forced to close for more than two hours as the Kandahar boys allegedly demanded the removal of the regional manager Frank Gassis. A police intervention aided the staff to get back to work. The chiefs and people of the Zupi traditional area in the Volta region condemned the attacks and asked government to investigate the incident. We therefore find it very reprehensible and misguided the unfortunate and very unlawful attack directed at his person and other workers of the authority in the region allegedly on grounds of their ethnicity. We therefore implore the government to, as a matter of agency, institute an investigation into the attack and bring the perpetrators to book National Secretary of the Union, Fuseni Idrisu, who spoke at a press briefing Tuesday, was worried similar incidents are happening in other parts of the country. I could recall that a politically motivated incident occurred in Winneba in 2017, resulting in the transfer of the officer in charge of DVLA, Winneba. We think that as a union, we don't have to sit down and allow these things to happen. As workers, our responsibility and duty is to work. At the end of the day, we are supposed to work peacefully and no any sort of threat. He said it is important for management of the DVLA and the sector minister to ensure staff can work in a cordial environment whilst the union continue to assist the police with investigation. It is a concern of the national union that the workers of DVLA are at risk in the performance of their duties and this ought to be checked by management of DVLA and the sector ministry to ensure that DVLA is safe and devoid of any unlawful harassment against the workers by any group or persons. For Joy News, I am Hannah Odami. Hey, 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 hey. City authorities in Kumasi say the refusal of traders to relocate from the central market has stalled progress on the second phase of the KTR redevelopment project. Chairman of the Kumasi City Market Project, Nana Ejenim Boateng, is worried funds have been released since February, uh, since funds which have been released since February 2020 uh, will, it will 